Hello everyone. So today we'll study about real numbers. Now real numbers are something that you have already studied about a little in your previous classes, right? So in our previous classes, we had a look at what irrational numbers are, right? And we had a look at some properties which are shown by irrational numbers. So now we'll move on and we'll study about some new concepts. Uh, we'll be starting with the Euclid's division lemma, right? Once we understand how what is Euclid's division lemma and how do we use it, we'll go on to study about the Euclid's division algorithm, right? Once we, we are through with both these concepts, we'll go on and we'll learn about the fundamental theory of numbers. After that, we'll move on to study a little about rational numbers and a little about irrational numbers. But before jumping into this chapter, let's recall some of the basic concepts that we have studied about in our previous classes, right? So we have seen that there are multiple categories in which we have put different numbers, right? So there are natural numbers, there are whole numbers, there are integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers. Let's have a look at what all these categories actually represent. So let's start with natural numbers. Now natural numbers are the numbers which are generally used in counting all your tangible items, right? So let's bring out a number line here and try to understand what natural numbers exist. So here the numbers one onwards are the numbers which are called natural numbers. Right? Now these numbers are the numbers which we use when we are counting some tangible items. Right? For example, suppose you are counting the number of apples in an apple cart. Now you will start with the number 1. Right? You cannot count an, a 0th apple. Right? So you will start with the number 1. So all the natural numbers start with the number 1 and then go on to infinity. Now moving on, the next category of numbers is whole numbers. Now as the name represents itself, Whole numbers basically are numbers which are whole, right, or which are complete. So there has to be no fractional or decimal point in a whole number. So the numbers 0 onwards, these all these numbers are what we categorize as whole numbers, right. Moving on. So we have also learned about integers, right. Now integers are all the numbers, right, which lie on the number line. So all the negative numbers, the number 0, and all the positive numbers. All these numbers, they comprise of the integers. The integers also do not have any decimal point or any fractional value, right? So these are natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Now notice something interesting here. We can see that all the natural numbers are included in the whole numbers, right? Or in other words, I can also say that the set of numbers which comprise the natural numbers is actually a subset of the set of whole numbers. Right? Because all the natural numbers are contained in the whole numbers. Also, we can see that all the whole numbers are included in the integers. Right? So in other words, I can also say that the whole numbers, all the numbers which comprise the set of whole numbers are actually a subset of integers. Right? So this is a very interesting thing that we should all be aware of. Moving on, there are two more categories of numbers that we should be aware of, right? So these are rational numbers and irrational numbers. Now rational numbers are all the numbers which can be represented as P by Q, right? It can be represented as division of two different numbers, where P and Q are both co-prime integers. Now what do we mean by co-prime integers? Co-prime integers are two numbers which actually do not have any other common factor than one. Right, so the numbers 10 and 13, these are called co-prime numbers because 10 and 13 do not have any other factor than 1. So P by Q is what a rational number can be expressed as where P and Q are both co-prime integers and Q is not equals to 0. Now all the numbers which cannot be represented like this are what we call irrational numbers. Right, so any number which cannot be represented in the form of P by Q where P and Q are both co-prime integers and Q is not equal to 0 are called irrational numbers. So these are what rational numbers and irrational numbers are. Right? So now in later videos, we'll learn about more properties which are shown by rational numbers and irrational numbers. See you in the next lecture.